Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your Retro Arc playlist portable. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. So there's two methods to make our playlist portable in Retro Arc. One is if you have prior playlists and one is if you're creating new. So let's do it saying we already previously have playlists. So we're going to want to open up our RetroArch. And what I like to do is go to settings. And I like to come down to directory. And then when I go to file browser, I'll click it. I like to have that in my RetroArch ROMs folder, and then I have subfolders underneath. So I'm going to use this directory. I'm going to back up, main menu, configuration file, save current configuration. So I created this playlist in a different folder. So when I go to run Super Nintendo, I'll click run, and it says file could not be loaded from playlist. So let's exit out of RetroArch. And inside of our RetroArch folder, we're going to scroll up until we get to the Playlists folder. And here is my current playlist. And I'm going to link in the description Notepad++. This is an awesome program to use. But we're going to right click, edit with Notepad++. Now inside of here, you can see it it's looking in my documents. Now RetroArch is on my desktop. That's not going to work. So what we want to do is in your path of your first game, you have path just before the word ROMs. We're going to highlight everything just like so. Then we're going to come up to search while it's still highlighted. We're going to come up to search, replace, and we want to replace this with nothing. So you want this field to be blank. Replace all. Now I'm going to close. I'm going to save. And then I'm going to close this out. And let's go ahead and try that again. Launch RetroArch. Super Nintendo. Turtles. Run. And there we go. So now all my games will run. Just to show you it works no matter what, I am going to move it into a different directory. And we're going to go to Super Nintendo. We can do a different game if you want. And there it is. So that's how you do it if you have previous playlists. It's a quick way. It's going to fix everything, make all your games run portably no matter where you put RetroArch. So for the second part of this tutorial, we're going to start a new playlist from scratch and make it portable straight out of the gate. So for the second method, we're going to launch RetroArch. And we're going to want to go to our settings, playlists. And then we're going to scroll all the way down until we see portable playlist. Currently it's off, so we're going to turn it on. We're going to go back to the main menu, configuration file, save current configuration. Now let's import a new playlist, import content, manual scan, my content directory, I'm going to do NES games, so my NES, scan this directory, system name, Scroll all the way down to Nintendo Entertainment System, right there. And my default core, I'll just go with FCEUMM. Now we can go ahead and start the scan. So now we have Nintendo installed. Let's launch a game, make sure everything's good to go. And there it is. So now what I'll do is take my RetroArch folder, cut, and I can put it anywhere. So I'll put it in my documents, paste, and let's confirm we're not going to get any errors. Nintendo, 
run. Perfect. So that's all you got to do, whether you already have previously installed playlists for RetroArch or if you are starting from scratch, that's how you make your RetroArch build completely portable using playlists. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.